Today we are going to make some animated duct tape titles just like these, using a green screen, some duct tape, a pen and a window. Welcome to the film look. If you're looking for stylish transitions for your video, then check out Stanza by Rocketstock. You'll be cutting from scene to scene like a pro. So we've created stuck on titles like these before for the film look vlogs, we use them as lower thirds, but we wanted to get something that was going to be a lot cheaper and just a lot easier to make. Previously we had strung up a green screen, lit it, then shot against a mounted plate of glass on an angle to prevent any reflection. It worked, but sourcing a plate of glass this large is time consuming and can be expensive. Then there is the difficult task of mounting it for shooting. So what is something we already have access to that will work just the same? Well, how about a window? So find yourself a window with a view to outside. The trick to a good key from a green screen is to light it as evenly as possible. If you don't have the right kind of lights, this can be tricky. So putting the green screen outside is the next best thing. Just make sure whatever location you do use is getting caught by even sunlight, or in our case, an overcast day. We don't have a collapsible green screen, but we do have these green sheets. So we pin the sheets to our collapsible backdrop with pegs to remove any creases. If you've got the extra cash, a proper collapsible green screen will work an awful lot better for this technique. We just use what we had. In order to avoid any reflections of ourselves and the camera against the glass, we took a large piece of cardboard and cut a hole for the lens to poke through. We did this in order to create a consistent reflection which removes background details. So with a proper studio setup, I imagine that the camera will be in total darkness, so you don't have to worry about reflections from the glass. But since we're doing it at home, this is the best alternative method. And since cardboard is so cheap and easy to find, this is probably going to be the most accessible way of doing it. Frame up the camera so the green screen covers the whole frame and expose the image of the subject, in this case it's the duct tape titles, and set it a stop under overexposure so you don't blow out the white tape. Ok, so here is a rundown of the entire setup. Green screen is outside, pinned out so we don't have creases. The window is in front where we are sticking the duct tape titles. The camera is behind this with a wall of cardboard to create a blank canvas of a reflection. Ok, so now it's time to hit record and start sticking things to the window. We recorded a bunch of titles including Monday to Sunday, thanks for watching and subscribe, sticking them onto the window and then pulling them off. So now that we have the footage, let's get it on the computer and get it keyed out. Not everyone has the same programs on their computers, so I won't be getting application specific. I'm using After Effects, but I do believe you can do this in a range of different editing and visual effects applications. Firstly, apply the key plugin. I'm using Keylight. Grab the eyedropper tool and click on your green screen. If you have an even screen, so no creases and an even light, it should get rid of 90% of the green on the first click. There are jog bars you can play around with if you need to tune your key in and use masks to get rid of large portions which are never touched, such as this corner here. With a bit of fine tuning and toying with the parameters, this is the final result. There are plenty of tutorials online so you can learn how to key with your specific program. So just get on YouTube, give it a search and get learning. I've also included examples of the ones we use in the description below. So get them downloaded, use them for your projects, completely free. I'd like to give a big thanks to Rocket Stock for sponsoring this episode of The Film Look. If you are in need of over 200 exclusive transitions of all shapes, sizes and motion, their stanza pack is a must. Check it out yourself by visiting rocketstock.com or via the link in the description. So if you like the, the hand drawn look, check out our hand drawn animated lower thirds that we made a few weeks ago. This uses a whiteboard instead of a green screen so it might be more accessible than this episode itself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.